Today I will show you how to make this formal OP on my fat. Yo, hello, it's Popika from Editing Visuals here, and really quick guys, for this Halloween season, I have released an OPM presets pack update. This update is absolutely free for the people who have bought the pack already. The update includes some text effects, some glitches, and some really dope OPM presets. But anyways, let's begin. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is press Ctrl Y to make a new adjustment layer, and on the adjustment layer, you can start to add some effects. So the first effect I like to add here is noise. I'm gonna make it to 45%. Now what I've noticed with this effect is that for some clips you need to make like 45% but for some clips it looks crazy good in like 98%. For this clip it does not look that good so for this clip I'll just have 45%. I remember this clip specifically for some reason it just needed higher amount of noise. But yeah let's keep adding more effects. So now I'm gonna add black and white and I'm gonna add it below the noise. Here I'm not gonna change anything and now I'll add invert again add it below everything. And I'm not going to change anything here as well. Now I'm going to add S Flicker. Now, guys, this is a plugin, but you don't need to add this. This is just, just to give this huge flicker effect. Uh, you can make this flicker effect by just adding exposure and keyframing the values. But I'm going to use S Flicker. So I'm going to make the amplitude to 0.74. And now let's add levels uh, below S Flicker and just below everything. And I like to make the input black here to 112.2. Now that is getting very darker now, but to combat this darkness, I'm going to add some glow. Uh, you can add the normal glow if you don't have deep glow, but since I have deep glow, I just want to add deep glow because this is a really good effect for this. And I like to make the exposure sometimes a bit higher to like 1.17. But on some clips, it just doesn't work at 1.17, I don't know. So for some clips, you just need to make it to like 0.8. But here, I'm going to make it to 1.17 just because it works very well on this clip. Sometimes it's just way too bright. But yeah, basically, now we have this formal opium effect. And uh, now we can actually save this as a preset. So we can go to one of the effects, press Control A, which will select every effect. And let's go to animation, save animation preset. And here we can name it like formal op opium preset i guess and press save and whenever you want to add this effect you'll just be able to go to effects and presets and type formal opium preset and you will just be able to drag and drop it on your clip and that's really simple but i'm not done yet i mean if you want you can just have this on your clip like this i mean it looks very cool but i personally like to lower the frame rate just because it makes it look way cooler so i'm going to cut, cut this up a bit actually because i don't think you should just have this for the whole clip like first there needs to be something before you can cut by pressing ctrl shift D by the way. I'm going to just press Ctrl D on this layer. I'm gonna go below and on this layer I'll press on one of the effects, press Ctrl A and press delete. I will just delete every effect and here I will add posterize time and I like to set the posterize time frame rate to three times lower than my frame rate already. So it's gonna be eight. Now, of course, for you, it can be whatever you want. And another effect like that here is transform. And I'm gonna make the scale to 137. Now, why do I do this? Well, because I think if you just have a clip and then instantly it goes to an effect, it looks boring. But if the effect has a lower frame rate and it's also scaled up, then it looks way better, I think. And yeah, this effect is absolutely insane. It really mess around a lot with that effect. Uh, I can show you, like, for example, I'm gonna control D this layer and I'm gonna go to a next clip. So I'm gonna go here. And here you can see it looks like just white and it doesn't look that good. It kind of wants that noise. So here I like to actually make the noise to way higher, to like 98%. And here I also like to make the exposure to a bit lower, 0.8. But this is just for different clips. I don't know what clips you will guys will have, but this is just for me. And now when I'm doing this effect usually, so I go into it just like this with the posterized time. And then when I exit out of this effect, I like to add some cool glitches. Glitches. Now I've made a good amount of glitches on my opium presets pack. So if you have my opium presets pack, you can add some really cool glitches to get out of this effect. So you can press Ctrl Y and you can cut up the adjustment layer. I think I'm going to add opium glitch 4, which is actually my newest opium glitch effect. That is actually in the opium presets pack update. So I'm going to add it here. And now it's going to glitch out of this clip. As you saw in the intro of the video, this looks very cool. And another thing you can do is like take thermal opium effect and just drag it on top, and it's going to give the this cooler glow and yeah this is how it will look so i think it's a good combination to have of these and
and yeah, you can add different opium glitches. And another cool thermal look I have also made. I don't know if you can count it as thermal, but if you have the opium presets back, you can type opium and go to opium presets. And I think opium 13, yeah, this is one of my newest effects, opium 13. It also has that thermal look. So if you press control to Y and add opium 13, it's going to have this really damaged opium look. Okay, on that clip, it looks way too damaged. I don't even know if that looks that good. Okay, I'm gonna go here. So this is the type of effect it adds. Okay, that is a huge effect. I mean, that just looks insane. And this effect has a lot of variations. So for example, opium 13 v3. Yeah, that is an insane effect. Maybe it's not too formal, but I think it fits the vibe a lot. And guys, for supporting the channel, I want to give you a $5 discount code, which is called Povikas. You can use it on the Opium Presets pack to save $5 off. But yeah, guys, that's about it for the video. Really make sure to mess around a lot of this effect, by the way. Like, I just said the settings that worked for this clip, they might work way differently for other clips. And let me know if you have any questions as well. But yeah, guys, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.